Hello, hello, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Total War Attila with yours truly, your first spear, Primus Pilus. I wanted to do a legendary Western Roman Empire campaign because I haven't done that in a while and I figured it would be quite a challenge. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. And I will see you on the other side of the... Uh, the other side of the intro cinematic. Enjoy! filled with smoke and blood. The Roman Empire was divided. From the pillars of Hercules to the far reaches of the Adriatic, the Western Empire stretched. Sacred Earth, where men of greatness conquered. Those who followed neglected Rome, fighting over the scraps of past glory. They would either cast aside their petty differences or succumb to barbarous darkness. Behold a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Romans of the Western Empire, those noble sons of the Eternal City, the time had come to restore power to Rome. They made ready for war. It was the will of the late Emperor Theodosius that Rome be divided. And this has left you in a precarious situation. Overstretched and desperately trying to protect the Western Empire from barbarian threat, the burden of military and civil maintenance has left your economy in tatters. Public order is waning. So it may be wise to consolidate your forces closer to the capital, ceding frontier territories as a buffer if necessary. Once your infrastructure has been strengthened and the immediate threats dealt with, you will be ready to strike forth, conquer your enemies, and if possible, regain dominion over the Eastern Roman Empire. Build a Roman Empire worthy of Augustus himself. Alrighty, cool. So yeah, a lot to do. Uh, first, first couple of turns in Attila are usually a bit overwhelming because there's just you have such a massive empire and you have to you know manage all kinds of things. So now that being said, I haven't played Attila in a while, so I have to get my bearings too. Um, let's start with uh, research. We want to go military. Yeah, let's go military for now. Okay, so here's the thing. I think the logical thing to do right now is retreat back to Italy. But I want to make this into a kind of personal challenge as well. Because, you know, retreating back to Italy makes sense because there's just less territory to defend. But I want to see whether we can actually hold on to as much territory as we can. I think that would be a fun challenge. So let's let's try that. Let's... Pretend we are the mad dictator sitting on the on the Western Roman Empire, uh, Western Roman Empire's throne, and try and hold on to as much territory as we can. Um, so where to start? Let's start with diplomacy and see if we can get some trade agreements which would prevent I wars. Gain in wasting the day on you. What you say? Yep. How about the Morians? Well, they might get into a trade agreement with us. Yeah, moderate. Well, that would be good. Do it. There we go. So yeah, 
the reason that's good is not just because the money we would earn from it, but mainly because they will not go to war against us, which, which means we have one front less to fight. And I think that's a good thing. Same thing with the Gaetulians. They will probably I even give us some money for it. Yeah. To your terms, Let's get some money out of that. Still high, good. Moderate? Nope, high. That's moderate. Still moderate? Nope, low. So, I don't think they're going to agree to this. They're going to counter-offer. They're probably going to do 1,200. There we go. That's good. That's a good first um, bit of diplomacy. I think. I'm not a professional Total War player, but... Oh, wow. The Caledonians want to do stuff as well. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be... Good. This actually never happened to me. Usually they're just, you know... Everybody just hates my guts and, and, and wants to kill me. That's usually how this goes. They are reliable. That's also good, which means that we can probably get the elements to be a, a client state at some point. They are reliable as well. That's also good. Aggressive, temperamental... Well, they are. We, we can't. We, we're not going to do anything with them anyway. We're just going to kill them. Same with the Swabians. I don't want the Swabians to, um, to just freely roam in my lands. That's just annoying. Let's see, now that we're in diplomacy, let's see whether we can help the um, Eastern Roman Empire and get some money by joining wars. Because we're not going to encounter the Tanukids anytime soon. Accept it. Good. How about the Huns? Because they're going to they are going to uh, declare war on us anyway at some point. I don't want to declare war on the Fisgoths yet. Can you help us in this war? No, not doing it. No. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to them later about declaring war against the Huns. Because I mean, they're gonna declare war against us. Like they're they're gonna declare war anyway, so we might as well get some money out of it. Okay, military. Uh, you need to merge. And follow the Swabians. Um, you can get rid of one of these. Merge, please. What is the cost on these things? 215. Let's keep them for now. And force march into Colonia Agrippina. Let's merge you and send you here, I think. Ready for Go. You will Go. march till your feet bleed. Ready for all. Defend against the Abdanians because the Caledonians are not a tr are not a threat anymore because we have a trade agreement with them. I mean they might still be a bit annoying now and then, every now and then, but they will not declare all out war against us, probably, anytime soon. Let's get a fleet up. Um, and it shouldn't be our faction leader. You. So here's the thing. Since we want to protect all the territories we have right now, I expect the at least the Jutes, but probably also the Saxons to attack Camelodunum. So I want to have a fleet there, and they are going to be my uh, general killers. Because um, they will just ram the general, you know, to the depths of the ocean, and then it's then it's going to be easier to fight the um, the infantry that's going to land, because they'll break more easily. I probably will do the same thing here. I don't think the Abdanians are reliable because we might just sally out and and kill them real quick. No, they're unreliable. Well, maybe we can sink their um, maybe we can sink their faction leader when the time is right, but we'll see. So since we have a lot of enemies on the Eastern Front, uh, well, not, not yet, but we will have a lot of enemies on the Eastern Front, um, I think I want to make Pannonia into some kind of, well, war zone, basically, and then Dalmatia is going to be a fallback region. So all the military buildings are going to be in Dalmatia. That being said... No, yeah, all the military buildings are going to be in Dalmatia. I think that's good. Um... Because then basically what we do is we fight our battles in this province and then we retreat the legion to Dalmatia, we replenish, recruit, and then we send it in again. So there's probably always going to be three legions over here. 
and I know it's a lot that I'm saying right now. It 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 might go a bit fast for some people, and for some people it might go too slow. But you know, I'm just trying to have fun. Um, cool. So let's get our faction leader in Sisia. He's the worst, isn't he? But we need to get him more influence. And I think the best way to do that is by fighting battles. He needs to recruit. This guy needs to recruit. You need to recruit as well. Although I do expect you to be attacked from the uh, Quadians. Um, to be attacked by the Quadians. Let's start with building stuff. Commander, we hung. No, I want to recruit England. Commander, at your command. Yeah, he needs to recruit. I expect the Abdanians to attack. So, good. Right. Let's go over our provinces and start demolishing. Because we don't need. Uh, I don't want churches. Basically, they cost a lot of money, and I don't want Latin Christianity. I want to reform to Ro Roman paganism. Um, the reason for that is something I will get into later. Um, but for now, I just want to demolish every every building I don't necessarily want to have for like right now. Like I don't want churches right now; they cost money. They do provide public order, but yeah, I will keep the guard houses and the garrison encampments just for the for the public order, unless it's in a region where public order is okay, I guess. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep these things. Let's go here. Get rid of you. I want a guard house here. Maybe I will do that now. Although, I'd rather have a guard house in Kamaladunum. No, let's keep it for now. Let's, uh. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Do we want to recruit from Britannia Inferior? I don't think so, but. No, keep it. We'll decide later. Uh, nothing going on there. You can go. We need a guard house. We might. It's providing public order for now. Get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you. Good. Don't need you. Don't want you. Don't need you. It, we don't need rally fields. In these kind of provinces. Same with the guardhouse, although the guardhouse is providing public order for now, so we might just keep it for a bit, but it will have to go at some point. Now, here's the thing. Since we are trying to defend the Empire as it is, I don't want any military buildings in places where I don't need military. Um, for now, at least. Uh, I mean, if we demolish stuff, it, it gives us money to spend on things we actually need. So, let's get rid of them. Uh, don't want that. Uh, the rest can stay. Here's another one of these um, situations. Like I, I don't. Th I mean, the only military I'm going to need in uh, in modern day Spain is a military that's going to get rid of revolts. But other than that, I don't need to recruit a lot there. Although there's going to be a lot of revolts now that I think of it. Let's get rid of it. Let's let's get rid of it for now because we need the money elsewhere. Um, get rid of you. Get rid of you, get rid of you. We don't need that here. We also don't need to recruit from here. I'd like to, but I'd rather recruit from Belgica, I think. So we'll make this into more of a public order thing. And also, I think we have a lot of food issues here, yeah. And food is just killing for public order. Like, we, we have m minus 20 for food. If we resolve the food issue, we have minus 2. Now, that that's a difference. Um, you're good. Don't want this. Do we keep the bathhouse? Well, it's providing public order and, and, and wealth. Although public order is going to be shit in this region because it's going to be under attack constantly. So, Right, get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you. Bye. 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 Keep the guardhouse. Get rid of the rally field. Okay, cool. So we have four and a half thousand left. Um, 
I think we should either resolve some food issues or we should get a guardhouse in a couple of provinces like Camalodunum and Colonia Agrippina because it will make them easier to defend. Although fields only cost a thousand. So we can resolve a lot of issues. We can get a lot of public order back by just get, getting some fields up and running. Now that being said, it takes two turns for these things to... Hmm. Let's go with food first. And let's go with... Let's start dealing with politics now that I think of it. Because uh, you might want to adopt somebody. And I know who you need to adopt. This guy, he's on the border. Um, you need to become a military count. You need to become a military count. Same with you. And this will give them more replenishment uh, and less um, recruitment cost which I think especially in the early game would be good all right so let's uh, get a governor up and running I'd like to have a governor in our richest province which I think is Narbonnesus yep it is so let's do that uh, what is your skill you don't have a skill what the hell is this you're an administrator yeah, let's put you there. There, please. Thank you. And I also want a governor in um, Dalmatia. And the reason for that is because at some point they will help with recruitment. Now, you could go to Liguria. What do you have? What, what are you good at? Yeah, you're actually better as a um, commander. I'll keep you in reserve for now. We can we can build a little bit more. Uh, let's get rid of corruption here. And let's do... Yeah, I want mercenaries here. Because if we use this as a fallback line, it might be helpful at some point to, you know, retreat one army, get mercenaries, and get back into the fight again. Cool. I know this is a long, uh, a long turn, but it's usually the first turn that's pretty long uh, with Attila. Because you just have so much to manage. Now, when it comes to public order, I want to focus on fixing public order in a couple of provinces first, instead of, you know, dividing it amongst the empire. Let's, I mean, I'd rather have a single revolt somewhere, um, instead of having two revolts to deal with later down the line. So, preferably I would fix regions I can't reach very easily, like Tripolitana, for example. So, but for now, I think I want to deal with food issues because they they diminish public order the most, I think. Um, and let's do so in Liguria and Itali uh, Italia because public order, yeah, food, it's minus 20 because of food. Now, that's a lot. So let's fix food issues here. So there's a field. Let's do the same here. You need a field as well. And let's upgrade you if we can. And there goes all our money. Let's give you something to recruit. There you go. I think that's it for a good first turn. I am absolutely no professional Total War player, but I think this is alright. Yeah. Good. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. I'm curious as well. Let's go. You may still assign a provincial governor. Yeah, but I don't want him as a governor. Although... Okay, let's... No. Go. Go, 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 go. So yeah, we have a trade agreement with them, but they still are... Going... Oh, great. They actually say we can win this by order resolving, but I'm not sure whether I want to do that. Um, let's fight this and and see where we see where we land. I am a bit rusty when it comes to um, when it comes to manual fights, but we'll see. 
So I think first thing we'd like to do is send the garrison fleet to get rid of their general. If we can get rid of their general, that, that might be... Um, if we can get rid of their general, that gives us an advantage on the field. So they also have a lot of archers and skirmishers. I don't think I want to send the cavalry after them because they will just, you know, split up and, and fire into our back. So I'd like to reserve the cavalry for other things. There's their general. Funny. They say that, like, it says here that we can't beat them, but I'm fairly sure we can. We can. I want him on land, and let's block this off and just fight them on these two in points. Put you there, and put you over here, although I don't think we'll need you anytime soon. How about you over there, and I want you to fire at will. And also auto trigger this. Let's go for heavy shots. You need to stay hidden for a bit. So do that there. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that's it for. Did I put them into Studa? Yes, I did. Good. You need to land. You need to kill their general. Let's do it. Go. So using the whip will make them fatigued, right? Yeah, just for one second, fine. Uh, wait a minute, this is melee defense. Really didn't need to do that. Well, this is what it is. Kill them, please. Why would we fire on them? Oh, they're firing on us, never mind. Kill them. There we go, good. That's quite the quite the leap there. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, Mr. General, go there. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be able to win this, right? I mean, they. We're actually losing this. How are we losing this? Come on, man. Just kill the enemy general and be done with it. Yeah, it's, it'll take a while before they land, so... Well, that's quite absurd, isn't it? That is quite, quite weird, if you ask me. They should be able to kill them. Well, maybe it was because I triggered the ability, because I misread what, what it does. And... And it made them tired. Like, there's a single second where they are tired after the ability. Which might be because... Which might be the reason that we, that we didn't win against them. I still think it's weird, though. Because how's the morale now? Yeah. Get you over here. So I need them to clash with them and then I'll send in the cavalry in the back. Ah, they're actually doing quite well. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so they are... Let's uh, slow it down a bit. Enemy units have been rallied. They are actually wasting their ammo quite fast and they can't, re they can't uh, hit them anyway. Let's send the cavalry over here because I feel like we need them over there. It's probably one of these spearmen... Yeah, there we go. They are going to... Um... No, they aren't. Wow. Let's keep it there then. Let's see what let's see what we can do there. These archers are probably going to fight. No, go, 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 go. I want you to hit them in the rear. I'm quite indecisive when it comes to these things. The enemy are ambushing us. No, 
No, they aren't. I need them to charge into their back. This is not going to be a good charge because those swordsmen are in the way. Kill him. Good. Oh. This is what I want to see. And they it's fine if they start throwing at them because they are into studio. They're not going to be hit by it. Good. Let's pull them out of there. And hit them in the rear again. Let's wait for just a bit. Did we do something for their morale? I don't think so. No. Right, get in there. Give me a good charge. And let just let them waste their ammo, it's fine. There we go, that's good. That is good. Because now they are losing men. Yep, it's fine if they attack them. I just need them to break. That's all. And they can keep firing on, firing on these swordsmen, that's fine. Good, they're, they are breaking. Pull them out again. Pull them out again. Go, 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 go. Let, that, let our archers fire into their back. That's all good. We're faster than them, so... It would have been great if we could have really, like, broken them, but we, we just couldn't, so... Okay, good. They're doing it again. But now they are keeping some spearmen over there, which we will just kill because we are firing into their backside, so it's good. And they're going in. Let's go. Let's go with another charge. And hopefully this time we can just break them. I think we can. Yeah, they aren't going to like this. They broke. Good. We're still firing at them as well. If we could have killed that general at the first, you know, in, in the first... Uh, at sea, then, then things would have been different. They need to stay confident as well. Good. Now, the general's over there. If their general can push into our spearmen, then we might be able to kill him quite easily. He's not going to do that, is he? Nope. Should we send in our general? That's the question. We are losing decisively now. Yeah. Yeah, get him in. Good, that general is going in as well. Go. The enemy general is dead. Good. Now we need to push. So we might, we'll break him easily now. I just need to keep my cavalry alive. Get him. It's a melee defense. I oh, didn't know that was an ability. Well, good. Now we do. Everybody kill him. And I don't want to chase the archers because they're, they are going to split up and, and just, you know... Just not doing anything. General, go. You, go. Or do we want to change? Mm, yeah, do it. Because they're not firing at the uh, Testudo anymore. And then we'll have these guys kill them. Good. I th think this is kind of a clean victory. Get out of Testudo, man. Go. You know what? Stand over here and send your... Uh, um, kill him with your pilum. Because they don't have any ammo anymore, right? No, they don't. Good. Okay, you get in, get in there. Speed up time as well. Yeah, so they are probably going to rout quite quite soon. How about double time, guys? How are we losing this? Good, there we go, that's it. Victory is imminent! See these dogs into the sea! 
Good. I think that's a pretty clean victory, but I'm no expert. I do want to kill a bit more of them, to be honest. Especially these archers. That's 600 and counting. Yeah, I really do want to kill as many of them as I can now because they are they are going to be back, and and I don't I don't trust them. Are these uh, Saxons by any chance? I think they are, right? Yeah, these are Saxons. So maybe we can sally out of uh, Colonia Agrippina and make them a client state. That would be great. Good, good first turn. Uh, let's sell them off. Although that's bad for integrity. Although the victory is pretty good for integrity, so let's sell them off. Yes. It's not much, but it's something. It will pay for, you know, one unit. I want them dead. We beg for a treaty between our... Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. We are having a lot of luck as well, by the way. With all these non-aggression pacts and trade agreements and stuff like that. But, you know, shit is still going to hit the fan in a bit, but... So far, so good, I think. I've seen worse. Sure. Yeah, I'm not... Mm, am I going to fight this manually? If I am going to fight this manually, it will be in the next episode, but I don't think I want to fight this manually. It's just not worth it. I mean, we are... we are Next turn, we will be there with three legions, so... And we knew that this region is going to be a war zone, so... No, nope, not fighting. I know. I'm alright with this. As long as they don't uh, raise it, I'm alright with it. Yeah, but why would they... They just sacked it. Which is all good. Cool. Alright, so... Adoption succeeded, that's good. Office appointed, office appointed, good. They're all, they've all taken office. Alrighty, so turn two. I think this is a uh, this is a good place to uh, end the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I I know I did, um, and I hope this series will continue for a bit. I know this is only the first turn done, but you know there's plenty more to come. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.